Hey everyone, today I'm going to present to you the stealth mechanic of RPG Builder. A quick note before getting started in the video, you can see that now I am no longer in the RPG Builder demo scene, I'm instead using the Dreamscape Mountain Pack because it looks a lot better and I really want to start giving a much better look to RPG Builder in general because some people may not know that they can completely customize their world and everything um, and I'm also using our um, upcoming stylized character pack, which I know a lot of people are waiting for me to release, but um, I promise you it's going to come out this month and um, the sooner the better. We are just polishing it a bit more and finishing some armor sets. And in this case, I'm also using our own weapon packs, but these ones are already available on the store. Anyway, so as you can see here, we have some wolf over there. And as I come closer, they will um, look at me, you know, and start aggroing me. As you can see here, it's going to aggro me. And if I go further, it's going to lose aggro. But if not, it's going to keep attacking us. Now, if I will go ahead and enter stealth, you can see that he's instantly using aggro um, on us and going back to whatever he was doing before. Now, when we enter stealth, there are quite a few other things happening, which I'm going to cover one by one. And I'm also, of course, going to show you all of that in the editor later. I'm just going to first show it in game. So um, also another side note, um, as of right now in RPG Builder, stealth is either you're completely stealth or you're not stealth. What I mean by that is um, I know some of you will want some kind of perception stats um, that will affect how you as a player can perceive um, stealth units, so enemies or whatever, as well as how enemies can perceive you when you're stealth. This is not a thing just yet, but keep in mind that it is on my list. Um, now, what about all the things that happens when you actually enter stealth? So let me enter stealth here. And the first obvious thing is the visuals. As you can see, um, we have quite a few visual things changing. First, we have an overlay, a screen overlay that makes everything looks a bit more purple, blue, etc. As always, you can fully customize those things. You can disable them. Um, so nothing really to worry about that. Uh, if you don't like how it looks, you can just make it exactly how you want or just not use it. As well as some particles that are stuck to our feet in this case, as you can see, it's following us. And we also lastly have um, this kind of blue purple effect on our character model and weapons. In this case, just to give some kind of uh, stealth look. Obviously, all those free visual effects are included for you in RPG Builder um, directly in the demo. And that's why um, I couldn't really use like a fancy stealth uh, shader uh, that makes us look very cool, invisible, etc. Um, because I don't own one uh, with Blink, but you can definitely find one on the store and use it um, while stealth. Anyway, now um, there are some other things happening when we're stealth. As you can see, the movement speed is also changing. So in this case, I set up a um, stealth uh, kind of debuff uh, applied to us. So whenever, you know, um, we're stealth, this is going to be applied. And we can, of course, cancel stealth uh, by clicking the effect or just using the ability again. And lastly, you can see that the action bar uh, is changing. So if we look at here, the second and third slots, you can see that um, this is optional. Uh, you don't have to swap the uh, to uh, like a stealth action bar. It's um, something you can configure in the effect in the editor. I'm going to show you later. But if you do want, you can have a completely um, independent stealth action bar and non-stealth action bar. So here, for example, I could go ahead and drag and drop uh, this here in this slot. And now if I go to stealth, you can see that uh, it's no longer here. We now have the stealth action bar. And as I go back, we now have the non-stealth action bar. And those things are saved uh, for you. Now, another cool thing is if I go ahead and um, um, slot ambush and sap you can see that uh, those ability if i try to use them now is going to tell us you need to be stealth to use this ability so you do have the option to be to require to be either stealth or not under stealth to use abilities you could totally have an ability that is only possible to use when you're not stealth and in this case uh, those two are only when stealth so let's see a bit um stealth in action and in combat so I'm going to go ahead and um, kind of sneak on those wolves and I'm going to try to only catch one and we're very slow right now. I kind of regret putting this effect to 50% but it's okay. I'm going to actually unstealth and come closer. Okay, so here we have this uh, wolf and I'm going to go ahead and stun him. 
So here I have the SAP ability, which is an ability that lets me, um, you know, being used while stealth. And in this case, it's going to stun the wall for a duration. Now, as you can see um, in the editor later, you will see in the editor, uh, you also have the option to decide if an ability when used should uh, cancel stealth or not. And in this case, SAP is set to not cancel stealth. And if I now use Ambush, you can see that it immediately pull us out of stealth. So Ambush was just a basic um, damage ability in front of us, uh, just like this one would be, but this one is for um, out of self also. And um, yeah, in this case, Ambush uh, will cancel stealth. So I'm going to go ahead and use Ambush. And now you can see that, well, in this case, it's pretty strong. So it's kind of like one-shotting the wolf. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for like this kind of showcase. Um, and um, that's kind of the base of the stealth mechanic and you know with this already you can expand on a lot so how does this all work in the editor I'm going to go a bit further here probably just stealth so now I'm completely safe and um, we can go in the editor and show you so first of all the stealth effect itself before talking about the options you have in abilities etc I want to show you how you create your own stealth effect so I'm going to go under combat effect and look at the stealth effect here you can see that we have stealth and stealth slow and i'm going to come back to this one a bit later so first of all you see that the type is of course stealth which is one of the new type in 1.1 um, in this case i set it to be endless so you could choose uh, this to be of a specific duration for example if i go ahead and set this to five now and go back in game um you can see that now Stealth uh, on the bottom left is only lasting five seconds, and at the end, it's automatically taking us out of stealth. So um, yeah, in this case, I wanted it to be you know kind of like a toggle for the player. I'm going to put it back to endless. All right, and after that, uh, we have the visual effect extra, but I don't want to focus on this just yet. Here you see that we don't have that many options because it's a very straightforward effect. It's just turning you stealth, right? But what you do have as an option is show stealth action bar and if you have this off like i said before you're not going to switch to this stealth action bar your normal main action bar will remain okay so if you want a separate one just make sure you turn this on and now you see that you have add effects here so what this means is that you can add effects on top of the stealth one which are going to be active during your stealth and in this case as you could already think about i think is uh, the stealth slow effect that we can find here so what this means as long as we are stealth this stealth slow effect is going to be applied to us and in this case here it's just an endless effect which has a our madness 50 percent movement speed um, stat on us so very straightforward you create a stat effect you choose uh, if it's endless or if not the duration you choose if you want to show the stealth action bar or not and here you can add all the effect you want to be active you could increase the movement speed, you could increase some stats, you could increase whatever your effect can do. And um, as you can see, it's a lot because we have a lot of effect type. And lastly, we have the visual effect. But in this case, it's not really worth um, going too much in detail about it. It's simply um, some particles, the trail particle here, as you can see. And um, the interesting thing that I want to cover about those is that here you see that in 1.1, we have a few more checkbox at the end. And what this means is um, here you have the choice to destroy this visual effect when you stealth, so when you enter stealth, or when you uh, exit stealth. So in this case, if I turn off um, for the trail and go back in game, now if I do enter stealth, you see that we have the uh, trail extra. And if I exit stealth, you see that the trail is still here which is, you know, obviously not exactly what we want. So now it's going to keep following us. But um, if this was on, just like it was before, it will then automatically destroy for you uh, when you exit stealth. Now, when it comes to the um, stealth ability, that's also important. So here you see that we have the ability. Very, very straightforward. It's an instant ability of type self because we want to cast it on ourselves. It can have whatever cooldown you want. Here we simply apply the stealth effect, which is the one we just looked at. But lastly, very important, uh, you just need to add 
a tag here. And the tag is once again very simple of type stealth. And the last step is simply to assign whatever stealth effect this ability assigns. So in this case, this one. So you just, you know, add a tag of type stealth and here you um, assign this stealth effect. This is just going to make it a lot easier for RPG Builder to understand um, what kind of uh, ability this is and what kind of action should happen when you toggle it and so on. So you just do that and it will be just fine. Now, when it comes to um, the abilities, for example, if we look at Ambush, here we have um, use requirement. So in this case, we see that we have a use requirement of type stealth. And in this case, we can decide should it be stealth or not. So if I turn this off now, uh, Ambush can only be used when you're not stealth. But because this is on, it's an ability that's only usable while stealth. Very simple. After that, it's literally just a normal ability with nothing special. Same for strike, etc. But if we look at sap, which was the stun, in this case, um, same thing. You can see that uh, it can only be used while stealth. But in this case, you see that cancel stealth is off. So if I would have this on, just like ambush, you can see that when it's used, it's then going to cancel stealth. So that's pretty much it for Stealth in RPG Builder. It is made very easy for you. Um, it is really, really straightforward, as you can see. Very easy to use. And that's pretty much it. So um, as I said, you know, later you can expect some improvement with um, some Stealth-related stats, such as Perception and things like that. Definitely let me know uh, if you have some ideas for suggestions and so on. And uh, yeah, you know, in the comment or on Discord. I'm happy to hear, but I'm just thinking about some stats that will, you know, um, affect the distance at which you can see um, uh, other stealth units, and uh, it could do, you know, quite a few cool things. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.